As we've been reporting, hospitals are slammed, stretched thinner than at any point during the pandemic. It is not just the big hospital systems failing the strain, but no matter where you live, it could impact the care you get. Tessa DeTiro reports from Adams County. At the beginning of the pandemic, the Adams County Regional Medical Center struggled to get enough PPE to protect its staff. Now it's struggling to keep its staff at work as more and more test positive for COVID-19. You deal with it the best that you possibly can because it's, you can't just go find nurses. In fact, I was on a meeting uh, with most of the hospital CEOs last week, and the big topic of conversation was, it's not, again, not, it's not equipment or protective equipment, it's staffing. Nearly half of the hospitals in Southwest Ohio are reporting a nursing shortage. This, while more patients than ever need care. So when the ER is busy, Typically, the um, the inpatient side is then busier, and so that is uh, that is what we're what we're seeing. Rural hospitals are trading patients to keep capacity down. Again, we want to be able to make sure we have that relationship with, let's say, the UC Health System, so that we can send a critically ill patient to them, and then they might say, "Hey, you know, we took that patient. Can you take this patient just to open up a bed?" As Thanksgiving Day approaches, hospitals ask families to protect a healthcare worker by doing things differently. I look forward to cooking the, the turkeys for the big family and having everyone over to our house, uh, you know, 25 or 30 people. And uh, I'm gonna miss that this year. So uh, I ask everyone to miss that this year. In Adams and Clinton County, both rural hospitals are preparing for the vaccine, ordering sub-zero freezers for storage. In Seaman, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. If the trend continues, doctors believe that routine procedures will start being pushed back.